Today, we're gonna make a traditional shaker style table with a not so traditional feature. We're going to use some marquetry techniques to make this hot dog inlay on the top. You're gonna to wanna to stick around for this one. Today's video is sponsored by Rockler Woodworking and Hardware. Create with confidence. I have this two inch thick piece of cherry that I'm going to use for the legs. So to make this a little bit more manageable, I'm gonna chop this up over on the miter saw and then we're gonna run this through the planer and then make our legs over in the table saw. So let's get started. I got my four legs here. I'm going to cut a taper on two sides of each leg. I'm going to use the micro jig tapering jig. Now I'm going to repeat that on one more side. Got a couple pieces of three quarter inch cherry. I'm going to cut the aprons here on the table saw. So this will be the top and bottom of the drawer. That will be the face of the drawer. This table, I'm calling it a shaker inspired table, not, not a traditional shaker table because of the joinery that we're going to use. We're gonna use pocket holes to put everything together. It's nice and quick, it's real easy. This is something that anybody can do. So that gives us a couple holes to put some pocket screws in for nice, easy joinery. So I don't want this to sit flush with the face. I want the legs to sit about a quarter of an inch proud. What I have here is just a little piece of wood that's a quarter inch thick that I can use to set that on top of. We'll clamp our legs down here and then we'll screw it together. Glue on the end grain alone would not be strong enough. That's why we have the pocket holes here. There we go, there's one leg assembly right there. Just so I wouldn't screw anything up, I have the outside marked on my legs and the inside, because I want the tapers on the inside. I'm just gonna glue this third apron in. The drawer is going to go in here. This will be the drawer face. And so I'm gonna put this in there as a spacer. And then this will be the drawer bottom. Now let's work on the drawer. I want to remove the material right here to create a little notch for the drawer side. So I have my blade height set to two thirds of the way up. I have a stop back here that I can use to line everything up. I don't want the stop where the blade is going to be because that's dangerous and that's gonna cause a pinch point and that piece will fly back at me. Fly back at me. Fly back at me. Size. It'll assemble like that. Now we need to cut a groove along the bottom to hold the bottom panel. So now we're just gonna glue this guy up here. Got my clamps all set up. Cool. Now we're gonna reinforce these joints with some dowels. Let me show you how that's done. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill two holes, two quarter inch holes in there. Then put some glue and dowel and flush trim that. So 
So these will be our drawer rails here. And as you can see, this doesn't fit. So I need to cut it. So now that the drawer has something to ride on, we need to keep it from going back and forth. So I'm just going to glue little strips on the rails here. When you open a drawer, it wants to drop down. So what I'm going to do is put a top rail in here. Cool. I got this cut off from the leg. I think we're gonna turn a knob out of there. Let's do that. Let's do that. About to take you to knob town. I have no idea what that means. go. First time I ever made a knob. Now, we're gonna make the top, but we're gonna make it extra special. For the marketry part of this project, we're gonna use veneers that I got from Rockler. I have links to all the products that I'm using in the description down below. But we got some natural color exotic woods here to choose from. This is a variety pack, 20 square foot pack. And it's got all these different colors in there to choose from. There's some, look at that nice burl in there. And then we also are going to use some dyed woods here to get some of the colors that we need. And I got this, this blue here that we're going to use for the background. Traditionally, you would use a Chevrolet or a coping saw or a scroll saw to cut the veneer pieces, but we're gonna use some modern technology and cut these all out on the lasers. I have my Vector Art in Illustrator, and because there is a kerf of the laser that cuts all the pieces, I take everything and I add a small stroke to that to make up for the kerf left by the laser, so everything fits all nice and snug. First thing we're going to do is tape it all together. This special veneer tape that we're going to use. Why use veneer tape? Why can't you just use masking tape? I'm gonna be honest with you. I actually have no idea. I think the veneer tape shrinks a little bit as it dries pulling the pieces of wood together. I could be totally wrong and I probably should have done my research before doing this. But I took a marketry class a long time ago and I left the class with this roll of tape and I've had this roll of tape for years and I've never used it. And so I thought, hey, why not use it now? So here we are. Once again, not knowing what I'm doing. Can we just have some fun? Can we just have some fun? my favorite part of the hot dog, the little butthole part. So a couple ways to glue this onto the board is to use a vacuum press, which I don't have, which sucks, or um, some sort of uh, a vise that has like uh, these little things, these columns in the middle that screw down and clamp it to the board. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make some calls and clamp it down to a piece of plywood. We're gonna make a sandwich. This will be the bottom veneer. This will be the board that we're going to glue it to. And then this will be the top veneer. Then we're going to add the bun of the sandwich. And I have these boards here that have a rock to it. So when we clamp these boards down, it's going to put pressure down on the middle. And then we'll put clamps all around the outside. So 
Hopefully that'll give us some nice even pressure throughout. So we have to veneer both sides of the plywood, the top with our artwork and the bottom. That way the plywood doesn't potato chip on us later in life. Typically you would use hide glue for this. I've never used hide glue, nor do I have hide glue. So I'm going to use these slow set tight bond. And I got this little Rockler uh, glue spreader screw right on top there. Check that out, that's pretty cool. Go. I'm not gonna lie to you, I am super nervous about this. Plywood. Tighten them down. This is one of those things I want as much pressure as I can get. Alright, here we go. Oh, God. oh man, that's heavy. Ugh. Clean up these edges on the table saw. We'll put some edge banding on there and uh, do some sanding. This handy little tool. Washes it up. All right, so now I'm just gonna take a pocket hole screw and screw the bottom into the top. I drilled holes up here to access this guy. I would like to thank my top supporters on Patreon, Derek Jacobson, Jonathan J. Katz Moses, Timothy Allen, David Flores, and Nathan Bird. If you'd like to learn how you can support me and my show, visit patreon.com slash Pachuto, and from there you can find out how you can get your name mentioned on the show, plus one-on-one -on -one Skype calls. I also have signed cutting board books and bandsaw books for sale on my website, and Jute Mode Supply is now selling the new Make Something t-shirts, so check that out. Now let's get back to the project and put some finish on this table. We got some shellac here, thinned down with some denatured alcohol. Ready for the big reveal. That's so badass. Wiping on some real thin coats of shellac. Thinned down with denatured alcohol. Wiping on with cloth. The shellac dries real fast. Like we can put another coat on here in an hour or so. I would like to thank the sponsor for today's video, Rockler. Without them, I wouldn't be able to do projects like this. If you wanna learn more about the laser engraver that I use on this project, visit rockler.com. I'll also have links down below to all the veneers, the plywood, and the cherry used in this project. Visit makesomething.tv to get the plans for this project plus a lot of other projects. We also got merch and all kinds of other goodies on my website. So visit makesomething.tv. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and family on Facebook and Twitter. As always, have fun, be safe, stay passionate, and make something. Mm -hmm.